Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you had a great weekend. Gold trading about 1660. Uh, we're expecting gold to trade within this range. It's been up about 80 bucks in the last seven or eight days. Uh, we think that uh, because there's a relatively low number of net longs, that uh, this is a move that is not going to be the big move. Uh, but we're continuing to encourage our clients to hold and uh, without extending the size of their positions. Uh, what that means is that uh, gold price is doing very good things uh, in part because people are having a greater recognition that the euro is more likely to be at 120 by the summer than it is to be at 130. Our projection, as you call for, recall, for the euro is sometime in the middle of the spring, the euro to be at 120. In addition, uh, month to month, the Chinese bought a lot of gold in November versus October. Uh, we also saw and reported to you earlier this month that some of the statistics for the beginning of the year and the turn of the holiday season in the, in the, in the United States uh, indicate that the Chinese uh, retail buying is continuing apace, which is not surprising given the level of Chinese uh, political instability. Rare earth smuggling. Now, as you know, rare earths are one of our uh, key areas we watch carefully. Uh, there have been some reports that uh, there are 30, this is a fact, 30,000 tons of rare earths are approved for export from China. Now, of course, you know, we're deeply into supporting other mining interests uh, in other parts of the world like the United States. Um, but 20,000 tons are being smuggled out. And so the Chinese are fighting very hard to eliminate that smuggling. But we just find it interesting that such a big number is being smuggled out and another indication of the lack of control in China. And I say lack of control in China because this is clearly a case where earth smuggling is clearly a case of people having mines and then smuggling the stuff out. And the Chinese have been trying to crack down on this for several years, as you would expect. Um, in looking at the world, two other things uh, come up. One is that in Saudi Arabia, uh, which is whatever it is, the kingdom, uh, the there has been a big change. Uh, a moderate person, a person who believes in rights of women and things of this nature, has been appointed the morals minister. And this is the legendary Sheikh Al Sheikh, uh, who is uh, widely perceived as a moderate and a big step away from the hardliner who used to cause people to be whipped in the streets and things of this nature. So the Saudi kingdom responding to the Arab spring, fall, summer, winter. The, the winds of freedom even reaching into Saudi Arabia. Uh, lastly, uh, we think that the U.S. stock market movement has been uh, somewhat, or, or let me not say it that way, the U.S. stock market is not in for any long period of upward movement. Part of the reason for this is there are a low number of people who think it's going down. This, of course, is a sign that it is, in fact, going down because most people are very optimistic. You're going to be lucky to lose 2 or 3% in your overall portfolio, and you could lose as much as 10 in the U.S. stock market this year. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day. Keep swinging.